Hello folks and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. Tonight we got another whiskey review for you and tonight we are talking about Still Austin Cast Drink. Let's get into it. Okay, here is our bottle for this review. Still Austin Cast Strength. If you are a fan of the channel and you watch our lives, which you should be, if you're not, then please tune in every Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, that's when we're doing our lives and we talk whiskey all night. And it's a, it's a good time. You hang out, drink whiskey with us. And uh, yeah, sometimes too much. But nonetheless, this bottle here, I have talked about tremendously, immensely, too much, uh, fantastically, whatever the word. Uh, I've talked about it a lot on lives, and for good reason. I personally think it's the bestie, bestie? Best $50 bottle there is out there. Yes, that is correct. This right here, this still Austin cast strength, best $50 bottle in existence in the bourbon world. And for good reason, because Nancy Fraley is at the helm over there at Still Austin doing the blending. And as we all know, Nancy Fraley always does amazing stuff. But let's talk about why it's amazing. Let's go ahead and get into the nose here. Oh man, all those dark notes just punching you right in the face. So you get like a molasses, dark chocolate, little hints of coffee. It's like a really good roast coffee. Um, getting some, got some dark fruit showing up here, some dates, maybe a plum note. Uh, also a little bit of a raisin note showing up. Some really dark brown sugars. I mean, real, like, like you just stuck your nose in a bag of brown sugar. Nice caramel notes. Man, I just love all those dark notes that are showing up on, on this whiskey. Ah, it's so good. Let's go ahead and get into the stuff that matters, though. The taste. Here we go. First sip. Man, that is just good, quintessential bourbon notes. It's just a little bit darker twist. I would say, you know, this is slightly darker than like an OGD 114 or maybe, you know, definitely darker than say uh, 1920. But I love those dark notes. So if you're a person that likes the dark notes, you're getting chocolate, like dark chocolate, a nice black roasted coffee. Uh, you're getting a ton of brown sugar, tons of like real caramel, like, like caramel candies, uh, as well as just some, there's also some nice red fruit showing up there. So like a strawberry, uh, also, maybe like a raspberry there. And then you know, these, these nice dark fruits paired with that. So you got like plum, raisin, uh, some dates in there as well, like roasted dates, like they're like hot out of the oven. Um, man, there's just so many great notes that I love. Maybe even like a leatheriness showing up. Uh, let's go one more sip here and talk about that finish. So, you know, I think the finish might actually be my favorite part of this experience. It's, it's just spicy, you know, uh, cinnamon, brown sugar, molasses, uh, like chocolate, coffee. It's just, it's so desserty. Man, it just reminds me of like an ice cream sundae minus the ice cream. So there's, there's no vanilla ice cream in this sundae. It's just like chocolate and coffee and toffee and uh, caramel and brown sugar and just dark, dark chocolate, all like hot, warm. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's good, it's very good. So if you like all these dark notes I'm talking about, then you need to find yourself one of these bottles. I've heard that Total Wine does carry this, so if you have Total Wine in your area, then definitely look for this. Also, there's picks of this stuff, which are even better. They are a little pricier, but definitely worth a pickup. So folks, uh, for a score, you know, given that this is, in my opinion, the best bottle in the $50 range, uh, I'm gonna go 9.6. Yeah, uh, nearly perfect. I have no problem buying a lot of these at 50 bucks. They are amazing. So go check them out for yourself. I think Still Austin is an up and coming company. Uh, and as their distribution gets bigger, I think more and more folks are gonna find out just how great this stuff is. And it's just getting older, older and older over there. Uh, you know, the picks, especially the Nancy picks, are sometimes not pushing five, six years now. And I know that doesn't sound like much, but Texas is a different country. So it's just different down there in Texas. Folks, if you enjoyed this review, please hit that like button. We appreciate that. Also, here's other reviews from us right here. Here's the subscribe button, so please do that. And until next time, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.